Holla Peeps, it's your girl Cherie reporting live for Cherie TV. Hope everybody's having a great day. Okay. I'm watching Al Sharpton. Turn him down for a minute during the commercial break. Connect with y'all. His show's good, but he's very loud. I like turning up the TV because he cracks me up. You know, holla at Al Sharpton, yes. It's on MSNBC. It's called Politics Nation. On my Facebook and Twitter, I put Politics Nation. Politics Nation, it's called. With Al Sharpton. And he has guests on there. You know. And from what I see, he has a lot of white guests on there. Which is interesting, you know. Because a lot of people think Al Sharpton don't like white people. But he has a lot of white friends. Yeah. Give it a watch. He makes me laugh. He's very smart. I like listening to smart people. Uh oh, wait a minute. Listen. So it's no wonder he appeared with others far right politicians at the values voter summit. Any yelling? That's who they shared the stage with. Right wingers like Glenn Beck, who this weekend contested. Glenn Beck, what you say? Nervous breakdown. War against slavery. <sighs> a big, gawky, skinny guy with a goofy hat stood up and said, I'm a Republican. And I'm going to end slavery. Abraham Lincoln, you're on the verge of winning. You're on the verge of winning. And it's going to happen quickly if you don't compromise your values. Raise a standard that the wise and the honest can repair. The event is in the hand of God. That's gone back. America. Holding the country hostage is just like freeing the slaves. No wisdom from the man who once said President Obama has, quote, a deep-seated hatred for white people. If he weren't extreme enough, how about Joseph Farrar? He runs World Net Daily, a website that has claimed Obama hid his gay life to become president that wonders is Obama sending Muslims a subtle message and that offers up the smoking gun of Obama's Kenyan birth certificate. I'll tell you. Yeah, the guy who thinks our president is a gay Muslim Kenyan actually moderated a discussion at this summer. That's where the GOP's leading voices were this weekend, sharing the stage with people sprouting anti-gay, anti-contraception rhetoric like this. Here's a better name for the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, for NAACP, the National Association for the Abortion of Colored People. We love everyone, including homosexuals. That was a black guy. The truth about the moral, spiritual, and physical dangers of homosexual conduct. Now we live in an era where a president praises a promiscuous co-head because she thinks you ought to buy her birth control pills. Homosexuality is now dividing us and bringing hostility into the public square. What's really extreme is that the future of the Republican Party was right on the stage with them, walking in lockstep. So how's all that rebranding going? Joining me now is Al Sharpton for outing those people talking like that. A former evangelical turned progressive. He's currently a columnist for the Huffington Post and author of the book, And God Said Billy. 
Thank you both for coming on the show tonight. Thanks. What are you gonna do? Frank, Frank, let me go to you. You, you want There's a lot of haters out there up, toward the gays. You said about these Republicans on stage with these people with fanatical positions. Well, Reverend, there's something that I really just blocked them out. Understand, and it has to start with the media. You're one of the only people who gets this, by the way. And yeah. That is, these people's problem is not a political problem. It's Either you get it problem. or you don't. These are religious fanatics. And I gotta tell you these something. These re religious you fanatics, exactly like, like the guy said on Al Sharpton just now. The spirit of those are them. That has taken over those are the ones that delusion. keep gays and out of churches, say, basically, you make you, you not want to go. But you know what? If you were raised in the church, you better go to the church. What you say, holla. Don't let anybody keep you out of your church. The key about these folks is to ask, Shoot. where do they believe, where do they go to church? What you What are the philosophical say? presuppositions which drive them into it? And, and Shit, I've been going to the same church since I lived in Vegas, me and my baby. I used to sing in the choir. Let nobody keep you from God. Frequency. Some of the statements made that the values voter something was downright bizarre. When you and, and you understand it when you hear what Frank is saying, they said things like the U.S. was compared to Nazi Germany because of abortion. Contraception coverage was called the descendant of the French Revolution. One war workshop leader called for an aggressive and offensive culture war. President Obama was told to sit down and shut up, and that drew a wild applause. Sure this sure is the kind of stuff happening this week. I mean, it's unbelievable, and, and the problem is that you're always going to have. Oh, well, someone told the president to sit down and shut up at the meeting this weekend. The problem is that the Republicans allow these folks to take control of their party. A Republican. And they're more than happy to do it when they form this coalition. Can't be doing stuff like that. It's just ignorant. And, and get George W. Bush reelected okay, in 2004. They were happy to cede their party to the extremes when it helped them create energy for 2010. But that very success that they had electorally in 2010 also sowed the seeds of their destruction because they have gone so far out of the mainstream and they have enabled these people. They've said, yes, you're right. Your cause is just. We believe in you that they can't come back now. They can't yeah. take it back. They tried after the 2012 loss to President Obama. They tried some efforts at a rebranding, but they were too far gone because they have been feeding this rhetoric yeah. and enabling these people for far too long. Frank, the, the thing that, that also strikes me is, is you are a religious man, even though you know right. See these two the people, the guests on right now, they white. Everybody's getting along well. But when you hear them talk, uh, over and over again at this summit, slapping yeah. programs that actually help people. Yeah. What what is this all about? Listen to this. Al Sharpton. Obamacare is really, I think, the worst thing that has happened in this nation since slavery. It's time to rethink our dysfunctional welfare system that holds poor families down. We're moving away from an opportunity society to a dependency society. You don't believe that? Look at all the street corners that accept EBT cars. We need to make sure our government programs encourage work, not dependence. But our people want jobs. They don't want a safety net as a way of life. This egregious system that will be ultimately known as death care must be defeated. Death so care? Really? Be the ones that hold values, yet they go after every program that helps people. What kind of values, what kind of religion is it's that? Is that the fanaticism you're talking about? Yeah, I mean, I, I keep going back to the word, religious delusion. The fact is, and people don't want to say this because we believe in religion. I'm like enthralled in this government shutdown. Right. But the fact of the matter is, right. like I just want to keep up on it. Movement has been hijacked by a fundamentalist far-right minority. They, in turn, the evangelicals, have hijacked the Republican Party, who are now holding you and me and you hostage to wow. And that is what has happened. And so we have to start talking about the quality I'm like of the Listen, the right wing always accuses the left of not being, quote, open enough about, say, Islamic terrorism. They want us to right. hang that on, 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 on the Islamic community. Now you're getting off topic. It would be equally ridiculous to hang this around the neck of all evangelicals. That said, right. the evangelical right is nefarious, 
They have undermined this country, and tonight they are anti-American. And in in this analysis, in and they didn't come on. on. What I try to show. I'm gonna go ahead and put this movie. up because, you like I told you guys earlier, my machine is slow, so this will probably take like an hour to upload. I love you guys. I love.